This will be great. Oh, hello. Uh, I guess you guys know what day's coming up. It's a very important day. It's Mother's Day. I'm trying to find the best bouquet to give her. And you know, really in hindsight, this just, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. I'm gonna have to go back and, and find it. Something, something good to give my mother for Mother's Day because that, that is what you do, isn't it? Why do we celebrate Mother's Day? Do you know? Do you know where Mother's Day came from? Um, there was a woman um, during the Civil War. Her name was Ann Reeves Jarvis, and she was a peace activist uh, after the Civil War. And she cared for wounded soldiers on both sides of the battlefield. And she had been urging for a Mother's Day uh, for many years that was dedicated to peace. And her daughter, uh, after she had passed away, and her name was Anna Jarvis, she created the first Mother's Day as a memorial to her mother in 1907 at St. Andrew's uh, Methodist Church in Grafton, West Virginia. And that's where it all started. That's why we have Mother's Day um, every year. Um, you know, mothers come in a lot of different uh, packages. Uh, sometimes your mother is the one who gave birth to you um, and has always taken care of you. Uh, sometimes your mother is someone who uh, married your father. Um, sometimes your mother is somebody who adopted you and loves you very, very much. Sometimes your, your mother is uh, more like a, a grandmother who has come in and taken care of you because that's your family structure. I, I don't care how this person is related to you. This is your mother. And Proverbs 3131 says this. Honor her for all that her hands have done, and let her works bring her praises at the city gate. Uh, no one has done more for you than your mother, whoever your mother is. Um, no one has done more for you than them. And uh, it's really important that we take time, you know, as often as possible, but at least once a year, uh, to realize how important a mother is and, and how much they've done for us. So this Sunday, Mother's Day, um, I don't care what it is your mama asks you to do. Uh, she may ask you to do the dishes. She may ask you to go to church. She may ask you um, to make her breakfast in bed. I don't care what it is. Whatever your mother asks you to do, she deserves every bit of it. And you better do it. If you don't do it any other time of year, please do it on Mother's Day. Um, God provided you with a father and a mother, and they both have roles. And your mother... Uh, had some very important jobs when you were just real little. She had to teach you everything that you know. She had to feed you and clothe you and make sure that you were healthy. Uh, your mother had to get you wherever you were going safely. Um, your mother had to advocate for you in a world where it's, it's tough to, to raise kids. So please, my challenge to you this week, do something for your mother. Do something to appreciate all of the mothers in your life. Maybe it's not just your own mother or your grown grandmother. Maybe it's a, a, a Sunday school teacher. Maybe it's a teacher at school uh, or, you know, somebody who has been a big part in raising you. You know, all this talk about mothers uh, makes me realize that I have a very excellent mother who uh, has done more for me than anybody. Um, she is constantly teaching me more and more about my faith in Jesus Christ and, and what this Bible says. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, especially over this past year, it's been difficult to even get to see my mom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Dr. Reverend Tammy Garrison, my mother, um, right now. And I'm going to wish her a happy Mother's Day. I hope she answers. I'm sure she will. It's a Thursday afternoon. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. It's good to hear from you. Well, yeah, I miss you. I know. Well, over the past year, there's not been a lot of time that we've been able to spend time together. That's right. I know we're finally, we're going to be able to have a Mother's Day get together this Sunday. Or Saturday, Saturday rather. Right. You know, because, you know, working in a church. Um, but I wanted to call you and I wanted to tell, I wanted to thank you because nobody has done more for me than my mother. Oh. 
and you well, know that's it's because true. Because I love you so much. Well, and I love you too, Mom. But I want you to know that uh, we are talking today on our show about um, about how mothers are very important and they have a very important role in our lives, and we need to remember to thank them and appreciate them for all that they all the things that they've done. So I appreciate you, Mom, and I love you. And I, well, I love you too, and thank you. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you this weekend. Yeah, I'm excited. Mom, tell everybody best, best present. Best present anybody can ever give their mom is a visit. Absolutely. We and I need to do it more. And I'm sorry I don't visit you enough. Well, I just meant that in general, if <laughs> anybody's wondering what to get their mother for Mother's Day, it's to call them or go visit them. Call your mom. Go call vis- your mom. Go visit your mom. And tell yeah. tell her you love her and tell her thank you, give yeah. her and give her a hug. Should that be something that your mother's comfortable doing during this pandemic? Um, but mom, thank you for being on the show. Um, You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Say bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, mom. All right. Bye-bye. Bye bye.